My name is Alex Rosa. I am a PhD student here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Uh, so here we are testing a concept, the concept of double cropping uh, crops, including field pea and all the other uh, crops that I will explain in a moment. So this project is basically testing uh, field pea and by that we mean yellow pea and green pea as well as chickpeas and lentils. So those crops we plant early in the spring, they are cool season crops so we, we plant them early uh, April. We just harvest them a couple weeks ago to be precise in July 12 and in the same day we put down seven or eight different crops that we are testing uh, to get yield from it. So we are trying to get two crops in one year. The, the crops we are double cropping include soybean, corn, sunflower, grain sorghum, proso millet, and also for, forage sorghum, and two different mixes of cover crop. Uh, that includes a winter hardening and a winter sensitive mix. So when we selected all the species to double crop, uh, we of course we thought about the more uh, the ones that are more familiar to the farmers here in the region. So corn and soybean, and then grain sorghum would be the the other one. And then we tried to gather other information from the state that where we had some flour, uh, proso millet. So. With the financial analysis, uh, and we had the last year data, uh, we know that not all of them will be profitable, let's say this way, especially because some of them will not uh, reach maturity or they will be frost maturity. That's a common scenario here. But even, uh, even if some crops doesn't work, we always have options like doing silage or making hay. So besides the yield that we are trying to get and all the profitability and financial analysis that we will run with this project, we are looking at sustainable aspects of agriculture such as soil characteristics, especially uh, uh, the amount of nutrients that we, we have here that can be cycled through the year and also over time if this come to be a, an option for, a, for the farmers in the eastern part of the state. Uh, we are also evaluating the the feasibility, which, which will be the main thing, right? Uh, we are not sure yet uh, which crops will be able to, to reach maturity. So, as I mentioned, we are testing that. And I'm, I'm sure that this is very valuable for, to our farmers. So they have another option other than uh, corn and soybean that we are already very successful on, on that here in the corn belt, especially. But if we can have this extra option, uh, I'm sure farmers will be glad to know it.